Ada for telling my friend she should have expected to have her marriage home wrecked by staying friends with a homewrecker? For context, I, 35F, was close friends with Julia, 35F, and Alex, 34F. We have been friends since college, but our tiny group has since expanded from 3 to 7. Two years ago, we all came to know that Alex was having an affair with a married man. Her excuse was that he was unhappy, and that's why he was seeking outside validation. I advised her to stop it, explaining that it was not healthy because he would not leave his wife. Unfortunately, she didn't listen and instead accused me of being a bad friend. All of my friends were against it, but to them, it was not my monkey, not my circus, basically none of my business. Despite this, I contacted the wife and told her everything. I knew who the wife was because the married man had once introduced us. Everyone in my friend group turned against me, especially Julia, who thinks I betrayed my friends. She stopped talking to me because if I could betray a close friend of mine, then I could betray her as well. Alex was heartbroken because the married man decided he wanted to work on his marriage, so he broke things off with Alex. Julia was on Alex's side, and I was shunned from our group. Now as for what happened, a few weeks ago, I got a call from Julia. She was crying and telling me that Alex betrayed her. She had been having an affair with her husband, and she was heartbroken because she had supported Alex, and this is how she repays her. Even our friend group is divided on the matter. I was angry at that moment, I mean, she ignored me for two years, badmouthed me, and said that I was wrong. I literally warned her that Alex was toxic. So, I told her that she should have expected this from Alex. I mean, did she really think she would show loyalty towards you when she had already done something immoral before? I knew the moment she made excuses for having an affair with a married man, her morals were compromised. I am not religious, but I do have minimal respect towards other people and their feelings. And suffice it to say, I am not surprised she went after her husband. I do think I went too far because some of my other friends said I was too harsh on her. Even if what I said was the truth, I should have been more sensitive because she is going through a divorce. I do sympathize with Julia, but I also feel like as friends, sometimes we need to tell them the harsh truth. I know I said all of this when I was angry, but a part of me says she needed to hear that. Was I wrong? Update 1. First of all, I want to clear this thing up, I do not regret telling the wife about the affair. I do not think I did the wrong thing. My friend was doing something bad and psychopathic, in my opinion. She happily contributed to destroying the family, knowing the man she was dating was a married man. I know the blame should be on him, but she also needs to take accountability for her actions. If I were getting cheated on, I would want to know, so I guess the wife also wanted to know. I know many of you have shamed me, but just know I do not care. I was not the affair partner, so why should I take the blame? I was simply a messenger. Now, to the actual update, I did speak to Julia and said that I was sorry. I shouldn't have put her down when she is already going through some tough times. I did not want to add to it. I know many of you have told me to just cut her off, but I realized I was too harsh on her, even if what she did two years ago was wrong. She came to me because she needed a friend, and I can sympathize with her in her difficult times. She went on and on about how she felt betrayed by Alex, even when she has always defended her, even when her own parents disowned her. Just out of curiosity, I asked her if she has plans to divorce her husband or work things out, and she said she is going for a divorce. Her husband is begging her for another chance and even said he will cut off all contact with Alex, along with the offer of opening their marriage on her end, but she is headstrong on her divorce. She did ask for my forgiveness, and I do forgive her, but I still do not want anything to do with her. I do feel sorry for her and hope she finds peace, but our friendship will never be restored to its former glory. She said that she understands, and because she's quite religious, this is probably her karma, and God is punishing her. I hope she takes him to the cleaners though. And from the grapevines, I heard that Alex has been shunned from my former friend group because they are now afraid she might go after their husbands. As for Alex, I do believe she is a psychopath who enjoys breaking up families. I do not think any amount of exposing will work on her because she has no shame. She deliberately goes after married and committed men. I'm glad I cut ties with her way before she could get to me. Anyway, that's it, have a great life and stay away from all the Alexes of this world. Eight of